Welcome to the magic world of Madison Square Garden Center. In the vault, it was 1979. The Rangers had a lovable team with a lot of hair that was doing big things. On their way to the Stanley Cup Finals, they had to tackle the Islander dynasty on the rise. You won't believe how we found this lost tape. Shot by Kreshner. One of the greatest victories in Rangers history has been rediscovered. And thankfully, in the era when VCRs were born, a fan kept recording after JD celebrated. I'm so excited in this one that it's ridiculous. Oh, no! Ah! In the vault, we are constantly amazed by two things, what we find in it and what we don't find. Hi, I'm Al Troutwick. Today from MSG's vault, game six of the 1979 Stanley Cup semifinal between the New York Rangers and their rival, the New York Islanders. How did we do it? That's a good story. Because up until a few months ago, all we had of the entire series were clipped highlights. No one bothered to record the games. Lucky for us, a friend of John Giannone, some 20 years ago, gave him a VHS copy of Game 6, and all these years he's kept it. And now we've got it to share with you, with Rangers captain Dave Maloney in just a few moments. On the ice, Rangers Islanders was barely a decade old, but already there was a lot of juice. Ranger fans had found out how to hate Dennis Potvin with a chant that exists until today. As for the series, let's recap what happened to get those two teams to Game 6. In game one, the Rangers were reminded that they were going onto enemy turf, but it didn't matter. They won the game decisively at the Nassau Coliseum by the score of four to one. The Islanders, remember, were the President's Trophy winners. In game two, the Islanders' Dennis Potvin provided a winner in overtime. So in a close game, the Rangers had failed to take control of the series. Game three and the series switched to Madison Square Garden and at home, John Davidson was a sensation. Rangers three, Islanders one. In game four, another tight game. And once again, the Rangers missed a chance to take over the series. In overtime, Bobby Nystrom, showing form that would come to win a Stanley Cup later on, challenged John Davidson. The puck wound up in the net. Game five was another close game, four to three, as Anders Hedberg scored for the Rangers late in the third period. Game six, when we come back. You can learn a lot sometimes by just watching it come over the boards. Now here come the Islanders in front of a partisan Ranger crowd. Again, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the National Hockey League final standings, the Rangers in going past Los Angeles and defeating Philadelphia and meeting the Islanders with the underdogs in every one except the first series against Los Angeles. Nobody ever thought they'd get through Philadelphia. When they met the Islanders, they were meeting the best team in the National Hockey League, with the best line in the National Hockey League, with the top goal scorer in the National Hockey League, with the top point getter in the National Hockey League. And tonight, they are in position, not without some difficulty, obviously, of putting away the best team in the National Hockey League. Jim Gordon and Bill Chadwick setting the wild scene here on the vault. Dave Maloney here. How vividly do you remember what you felt like before that game? Uh, oh, very much so. It was a tremendous atmosphere at the Garden now. And we had kind of scored late out of the Coliseum in game five. Hedberg put one on the top shelf. And, you know, we were a bunch of young guys. We were kids 21, 22 years old against a, a very good Islander team. And my goodness, the place was alive. It was awesome. What was the level of animosity between the two teams? Well, it was a healthy respect, for, first of all. We had just moved, actually, from Long Beach out to Westchester. So in the vicinity, there was a certain line, which is the Jones Beach Bridge. You couldn't cross over that <laughs> because that was Islander territory coming from the South Beach. So, I mean, it was, uh, it was really something. Those were the best games I think I played were the Ranger Islander games in the mid-70s. Now, your brother Don's a budding star. He is, very much so. He was called up midway through the season. And that year, Al, the uh, NHL All-Stars played the Russians here. There was a break. Season shut down for 10 games. Don gets called up. We play Boston at home on a Wednesday night, his first game. He gets a goal and assist. We go into Buffalo the next night, beat them 5 nothing. He gets two more points. And all of a sudden, he's the Maloney. <laughs> so, you have not seen this tape since you played the game. Have not, no. Amazing. From John Giannone's basement to the vault right now, period number one. Lauren Henning is centering this line now. Bossy and Gillies. Shot toward the net on a partial screen. Goes wide. 
Marwa, that's Bossy on Marwa. Marwa runs it in. Knocked away by Sheehan. Back to the point. Potvin's pass deflected. Rangers will pick it up. Sheehan comes out. He's got a three on two. That's Dugay. They've got Hickey on the left side, but Dugay can't get to it. Puts his man down. Potvin back to the puck. That was Lorimer at Dugay deck. They've got Bossy streaking in the right side, hoping for the rebound. He gets over a shot. That's a save. On the rebound, it's Badney. Good play by Potvin. Good shot by Bossy. Good save by Davidson. Up ahead, looking for Dugay. He's onside going in. Hickey's in front. Shot missed. And the Islanders come away. Hickey had the net to shoot at and couldn't get it off. This is Gillies coming in. Onside. Dave Maloney for the puck. Henning gets him. And it comes up on the right side to Dugay and Badney. Carroll, Badney across the blue line. And sends one in to Murdoch. Murdoch meant for Hickey. Taken in front. Knocked aside by Hickey. Billy Harris bodied by Hickey. Murdoch's got the puck. Missed in front. Hickey goes behind the net. Esposito goes for the puck. Esposito to Hickey. Murdoch's in front. The pass misses him. And comes out. Penalty coming up against the Islanders as the Rangers have the puck. Back on the right side. Rangers still in play. Badney with the puck. The penalty has not yet been called as Rangers have possession. They've got an extra skater on the ice. Islanders trying to get a stoppage of play. Badney gets away from his man and finds Kachuk. Kachuk breaks through and still has the puck. Here come the Rangers. Kachuk goes in. Drops it off. Dreschner. Shot. Save. Rebound. Miss. Rangers still have it. And now finally a whistle. This is the fastest line the Rangers can muster as a line. Hickey. Skates it out. Has control. Sends it ahead. And what a check on Hickey. He went down head first and is shaken up. What a check on Hickey. Went down face first. I think he's all right, but boy, did he go piling in. He's still got soft knees. He's still got soft knees. That was a headshot. Watch. That's Gary Hot. He tries to go over Hot. He didn't get over right on, on the side of his head. Hickey tried to stand up and went for soft knees. He went back down again. There's a break in the action with the score of the Rangers nothing, the Islanders nothing. Nineteen seventy nine's game six continues on the vault. For the Rangers, Pat Hickey was up and okay. We resume our coverage with the game scoreless in the first period. Dave Maloney with the puck. Four checking by Bourne. Hedberg having trouble, gets it across the line. Kachuk takes a bump. Hedberg retains the puck and sends one in. Rangers continue to attack. Here comes Steve Vickers against Hart. Vickers puts him in. Going to be a pass in front. Backhand attempt. Hedberg can't get a stick to it. Free punch. Scramble in front. Kachuk for the net. Goes through. Vickers was taking a beating in front. Did not retaliate. Referee was watching. Here comes Nystrom. Long shot. Stick save and a good one. Bourne's got a shot. Save. Ran it down by Maloney. A great secondary save. Look at the hitting. Freshner's got the puck. Here it comes up on the left side, and the Rangers will skate it out. I have never seen Kachuk throw his body like that. Rangers are not offside. Bourne steals a pass. Greshner checks his man. Hedberg has the puck for the Rangers. Islanders are on a chain. Dave Maloney forced back to his own end. Passes through Nystrom. This is Esposito. Potvin coming back. Rangers so far have carried the play. First period, 12.30 to go. Look how far back the Ranger defensemen are behind the red line. And set in. Potvin goes for the puck. Trip. Rangers are going to go for a penalty as how it goes down. Murdoch is going to go. Goal 10 has been pulled. That stops the play. Not a bad way to stop it. 12-13 left in this first period. The Islanders' power play so far in this series, they're 0 for 19. One of the biggest questions in the whole series is this Islander power play. And game after game, the feeling has been you can't long deny them. So far, they have been denied. Here comes Gillies. Gillies drops it back. Trottier. Blocked away. Gillies shot. Save. Rebound wide. Bossy with the puck. Back to his point. Pearson here. To Bossy. He takes a hit. Gillies has the puck. No one in front. Bossy drifts out. Bossy in the backhand. This is Pearson to Bossy. Gillies in front. Bossy looking for protection for Gillies. Shot by Trottier wide. Gillies goes for the puck. Pierre Plot has trouble with a broken stick on the ice. Gillies trying to take it away with Trottier. Rangers make it two on two. Rangers clear. 
And all that time, Dave Maloney did not have a stick. He goes to the bench now. Time of the power play, one minute and seven seconds. Here come the Islanders. In front, free puck, goes wide. Trottier lost it. Badney dueling Trottier. And does not clear. Potvin to the right point. Pearson, screen shot. Save! Save! No, it's in. The right didn't go on, but it's in now. He has the first power play goal in 20 attempts. Well, the Islanders have to go into the well 20 times and not getting any water come up with a goal. They take the lead one to nothing on a power play goal. That's Putman, and that's Pearson. Davidson makes the save. It's almost a tip in by Trotje. And coming in on the left-hand side is Bossy, and it's over Davidson. Bossy comes up with his first goal in this series. Trotje will get an assist, and I believe Pearson will get the other one. We've got it, Bossy at 8.56 from Trottier and Pearson. And truly, the Islanders can no longer be denied on that power play. Here come the Islanders as teams are skating five on five. Kaziki across to Hart. Hart off the sideboards. Greshner has got the puck ahead to Sheehan. And back to Greshner. Dugay takes a hit. Sheehan's going in. Sheehan, screen, knocked away. Rebound taken on the left-hand side. Tonelli up the center zone. Snared by Sheehan. McEwen for the Rangers to the red line and sends it in. Hickey takes a bump and lost the puck to Kaziki. Tonelli and Dugay tangle on the sideboards and Greshner has the puck. Drops it in front. Hickey's hit the post. It was stopped by Resch and hit the post and came out. Hickey trying to put it on the short side. He had it by Resch and it hit the post. And back to the Rangers and Rich stopped by Davidson. Ten minutes to go in period one and his Islanders one nothing over the Rangers. Islanders pressing now. And the Rangers come out. Don Maloney. Murdoch pokes it ahead. Hart. Murdoch steals. Can't put it in front. Esposito in the corner. Murdoch's in front with Don Maloney. And can't get the pass out. And Bourne will ice it. Esposito starts to talk to Jerry Hart in the back ice. Nothing's been called. Now they're going for a delay of game. Apparently nothing else happened. Break in the action. Score. Rangers nothing. Islanders one. <laughs> Bossy is right out in front in a slot. Gillies is back, shot toward the net on the face, and Davidson has the puck. Badney. Kachuk. Lost control. Heading capture, sends it in. Gillies missed the check on Dave Maloney. Almost taken away by Henning. Intercepted at least, knocked it loose. Penalty coming up. Looks like two are going to go. We'll see it again. The Islanders need that kind of rough play out of that gentleman right there. It is Gillies. And here's the both. It's a hook by Maloney and a punch by Gillies. They will both go. Pretty good shot. What a shot. The Islands are looking for aggressive play from Gillies. They just got some. It's a draw. Now the Islands go over the puck. Hart. 27 seconds to go in the dual penalties. Marwa shot. Knocked down in front. Sheehan. Missed. Knocked down. Fans thought a penalty should have been called. Sheehan again. Angle. Save. A miraculous save. It looked like it was behind him. That's the best save that Resch has made in this first period. A beautiful low shot by Sheen, taking a pass out from Hickey. There's Sheen. Now watch him get knocked off the plane. 
He goes down, but he gets up in a hurry. Hickey goes behind the net, backhands it out to Sheen. Sheen going for the far corner, and look at that left hand of Rush's. It was behind him. Back behind his left leg. Good stop. So again, we're watching game six from the Stanley Cup playoffs. It's a playoff series with the Islanders, Dave Maloney, that can propel you guys to the finals. You're not looking past anything still after one period with uh, the score one nothing, are you? No, I don't think so. I think we were well into our magical, mystical ride that became the uh, 79 series. And the fact is that Bossy, that was his first goal of the series. And, and we had done a pretty good job cutting, shutting down their power play and staying on top of them. So if special teams are a factor, uh, they weren't a factor for the Islanders, but Bossy was able to finally score. Do you remember anything about being in the intermission at the end of the period? No, not not so much so other than the consistency of that run was the veteran guys who had been there, Phil Esposito, Carol Vadney, and to a large degree John Davidson too, were the kind of stabilizing factors because the rest of us were so young and innocent, those savvy old veterans played quite a role. What did you remember about Al Arbor going Chico Billy Smith, Chico Billy Smith? That was weird. No, well, I, I mean, in today's standard, it's certainly weird, but back then they were probably as premier a pair in the league that they had had. And this was a franchise that was coming off a couple pretty good seasons and not quite there yet. So I don't think we thought much of it. And I think, it again, our, our youthful, perhaps, arrogance was the most consistent <laughs> thing in this whole deal. But it sure was fun. Islanders won, Rangers nothing. The Rangers with a lot to play for as we go back to Jim Gordon and Bill Chadwick. Face off is in the Rangers' end. Potvin's got the puck. Screenshot saved, Davidson. Nystrom in the corner takes a hit from McEwen. Merrick is there. Rangers had the puck goes. It squirts to Esposito. 77 passes ahead. This is Potvin. Lorimer to Merrick. Islanders definitely are carrying the puck in. So far, Rangers having trouble getting out of their own end. Merrick to Bourne. Bourne to the right side. They got a man in front. Knocked aside before it gets there. Rangers breaking. It's a three-on-three. Three. Murdoch on the right side. Gets by one man. Shot. Save. Big save on a hard shot. A riser. Kept in play by Esposito. Shot just wide. Flagged down by Resch. Murdoch with a good opportunity. Shot the puck too high. Murdoch fencing off Potman and sends it down as the honors look for a change. So do the Rangers. Rangers in their own end. The pass along the right side. Boards comes up on the right side. Marwan lost it on a check by Howitt. Kachuk fighting for control. It comes out to the Islanders. Trottier. And back to center zone. McEwen going back. Good for checking by the Islanders now. Here comes Vickers. Howard takes it away almost. McEwen. Good pass. Hedberg. Save. Resch with a beautiful move, anticipating the shot. He had two men on his right, one on his left, and he guessed right. Wallachuk giving the pass to Hedberg. Now watch Hedberg. He gets handcuffed, and he can't get off the shot. The foot shot is a butterfly. Not usually the shot of a Hedberg, and Resch came up with the save. Face off to the left of Resch. Murdoch fighting for control. Gets it back to Marois. Screen shot, save, rebound. Only 
Steve Marwan handled that puck the time that Murdoch got the face off before Murdoch put it in. So a single assist to Marwan, 5-0-3. It is tied at one. And the fans have come alive. Jim, we had just finished saying it was the first aggressive move the Rangers had made in this period. Knocked aside, but Bourne captures and sends the center zone. Deflected by Nystrom up into the crowd. On the draw. Henning gets it back behind the Ranger goal line. Gresham there with a body check. Knocked off the puck. Scramble. Rangers in. Gilly swipes at it. He has it. Gilly shot. Save. Rebound taken by Badney. And under attack, he falls down. I'll tell you, that was one of the toughest saves the Rangers have had to make. Davidson saw the shot coming at him unexpectedly. He did not think he was going to get a shot that time. There's Gillies. He keeps the puck in the zone, but it comes free, and Gillies winds up and takes the shot. It's right on Davidson, and he's handcuffed. Fortunately, he goes to Vadney, and he... Good tucking job there. 13, 14 to go, second period. Tremendous hockey series this one. Free puck. Greshner starts out. Nice move around Henning. Playing for the bounce. Resch out of his net. Clears to his wing. Good play by Resch. Potvin ahead. Back behind Bossy who captures. Goes in with Henning. Trailed by Gillies. Gillies has the puck left side. Free puck. Rangers. Vickers. Gillies sweep checks it away. And Bossy comes up with it. Gillies definitely having the best game he's had in the series. Potvin with the puck. Vickers has the puck. Lost the puck to a back-checking Henning. Greshner looking for an opening. He's got it. In front, three Islanders there. Greshner still got it. Vickers missed. What a play by Greshner. Penalty coming up against the Islanders. Rangers power play, second one tonight. They have scored two power play goals in the series against the Islanders. Free puck. As a result of the Islanders' power play goal tonight, the Rangers not much more effective than the Islanders have been with their power play in the series. Rangers have scored two power play goals in this series. The Islanders have now scored one. Islanders won in 20 attempts. They have been 0 for 19. The Islanders have scored one shorthanded goal. Rangers trying to keep it in, and Kanata is heading prize it loose. 12-19 to go, period number two, 150 to go in the power play. Mario Marois. Mike McEwen. Good checking by the Islanders. Mike finds an opening, and just beyond Domino, he didn't have a stick down. Hart takes him out of the play and clears. Good play by Jerry Hart. Good play by both teams tonight. It is a shame anybody's got to lose this series. That's a good name for that young man, Jerry Hart, because he has all Hart. Knocked away by Bourne. McEwen was there. And as he had a series, every one of them, St. Louis, Philadelphia, and this one, Marwan. Maloney. Maloney's got Espo in front, trying to find him. Now Murdoch sneaks in on check. Esposito looking for Murdoch in a deep slot. He turns the corner, comes out. Greshner. Esposito just beyond his reach. Maloney prying at it with Esposito. Espo digging around, trying to find a free man. Comes back. 55 seconds power play. Maloney. Maloney's got Espo and Murdoch in front. Shot by Greshner. He's in the corner. He sees Esposito, but he watches Greshner come into the slot. He lays it on his stick, and Greshner takes the shot. It is low. It is to the left, and it is beyond Resch. It is two to one. Espo may have touched it, Jim. I'm not sure. It was close. It looked like Greshner all the way, but, but a good shot close. by Greshner. That was a cannonball. It's uncanny the way that Don Maloney can work the puck in the corner. I tell you, without bringing that young man up to this team in the end of January, this team would not be here. Esposito now giving credit for the goal. So of Esposito from Greshner and Don Maloney. The official scorer says Esposito from Greshner and Don Maloney. Rangers lead for the first time tonight, 11.02 to go. Sit down there in the felt for him. Sit down. Back behind the goal line. 
No tripping penalty call. Lewis ahead. Dave Maloney back. Carol Vadney. Sheehan ahead. This is Kazicki. Dickey checks Kazicki, knocks it away. Johnstone tries to center and cannot. Tonelli's got the puck. Just beyond the reach on the far side of Harris. Icing will be called as Vadney gets there first. You hear us out of town refer to the Felt Forum as part of this marvelous Madison Square Garden complex where they're showing full circuit of this telecast tonight, and they're packed down there, and those are the fans. Say hello to the fans, Willie. Hello, you fans at the Felt Forum and also at Roosevelt Raceway. Esposito gets credit for the goal. It's a power play goal. We had just mentioned that there'd only been three power play goals, two by the Rangers and one by the Islanders. It is now three by the Rangers and one by the Islanders. We called that goal progression with the official scores at Esposito. We see a little conference in front of the net that might be changed. A hockey player will never take a goal that does not belong to him. One of the few sports in which that kind of honor system exists. Volleyball is another one, Bill, where they call their own outs. I'm good at volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> Only call them outs, though. This is Potvin. Coming back up on right wing with the Rangers. Hedberg turns it in deep. Potvin and Vickers. And Vickers turns it aside. Potvin's lost his stick. There's a hit in the corner, knocking the puck loose. Islanders turn it up again, and Gillies has checked and lost it. Rangers are now out checking the Islanders and out skating the Islanders as the Islanders had outskated them in the beginning of the period. 9.32 to go. Potvin, that's Hedberg on Potvin. And Potvin passes to Gillies. Gillies from the red line, just wide of Davidson. Vickers back with Trottier in his tailbone. Scramble for it. In deep, Lorimer. Shot toward the net, deflected wide. Almost caught net. In front by Bossy, nobody there. And the Rangers go for the bench. Hedberg, Vickers, Kachuk is still out there. On the change, it comes to Gillies, left side. Thrown in. Deblois on the ice now. Here's a giveaway. Pearson shot, save. Pierre Plott is out, along with Kachuk and Lucien Deblois. Plott carrying the puck. Kachuk goes for the bench. Plott goes in, draws a crowd, looks for a free man, recaptures it after he lost it, puts a man down, but it's taken by the honors. Here comes Bourne with Trottier. Poke check, Greshner. Back is Deblois. Trying to fight it loose. Trottier battling for it. What a hockey game. Deblois. Deblois goes in. Trottier takes it away. Look at this checking. Break in the action. Score. Rangers 2, Islanders 1. In 1979's Game 6 on the vault, the third period was underway. The garden was tense. Bill Chadwick, Jim Gordon. Coming up on the 11 minute mark, face off in the Islanders' end. Johnstone fighting for it. Free puck, Pierre Plot. Giveaway, Nystrom. Throws it behind Howitt. Vadnay goes on Howitt. There's Bourne, the, one of the fastest in the league. He puts it in front. Stick checked aside by Davidson. Nystrom puts it back. Regression are coming out. They got a three on two if they hurry. Pass to Deblois. Johnstone and Greshner go for the net. Here's Johnstone in the corner. Greshner still in front. Johnstone takes a double hit. Has the puck yet. Now again a double hit. Still fighting for it. He's got it. Little Eddie Johnstone to Greshner, who keeps it in. Deblois looking for a man in front. Fighting it loose. Johnstone lost it. Howitt coming out. Badney back. Nystrom breaking with Howitt. There's the pass to Nystrom. Shot. Save. Rebound wide. Cleared by Badney. And lifted into center zone and across. Icing will be called. As we come up on the halfway mark, 10 minutes and five seconds to go in the game. Rangers two and Islanders one. Listen to this crowd. Let's go Rangers. Badney has got it. Sends one in. There's Hickey. He's got Duguay in front. Duguay goes behind the net for the puck. 
It's still in play, deep in the Islanders' end. Rangers have two men back, three men deep. They continue to play their game. 8.20 to go. Dugay uh, battling it loose. Lorimer comes up with the puck. Dugay's on Lorimer. Kept in, shot. Save, rebound, missed by Hickey on the far side. Bobby Sheehan, Dugay trip, no penalty. Nothing's going to be called here unless it's a goal stopper. Kaziki comes down. Rangers intercept. Good poke check by Dave Maloney. Islanders turn it up in center zone. Kaziki hit with the body, and Badney's got the puck. Badney looking for a sure opening and finds it along the sideboards. Inside the eight minute mark, but the puck goes out of play into the photographer's cage. 7.48. Shiro continues to change the lines very, very fast. Looks like Eddie Johnston is okay. He was being worked on by the trainer. This face off to the left side of Resch. Big face off. Everybody in motion. They'll do it again. Face off. Greshner shot. Save! Oh, what a save by Resch off the shank of the stick, I believe. As Greshner took the face off from Esposito and lifted a little looper in. Puck coming back. Don Maloney. Two men in front. Trying to pass it out. Cannot. Resch gets into the act with a good play. Nystrom. With Howitt in the middle, he missed the pass. It's back behind Greshner. Greshner with Howitt on his tail. Hard hit by Howitt. Murdoch tries to clear and cannot. Greshner, who's lost his helmet, has the puck. Looks for an opening. He's got Don Maloney. And ahead off Stephen Pearson. Howitt. Greshner knocks it away. Nystrom and sends it in. Six and a half minutes to go in the game. Nystrom fighting for control. He's got the puck in front. Stick checked aside by Davidson. Big opportunity for the Islanders to get it by the goal line. Don Maloney double check, and we'll get a face off. And Nystrom takes a little pop at Esposito. I think I saw the referee call a penalty. We'll find out in a minute. I would doubt it, Jim. Tonelli's in a slot. Harris is behind Kaziki. They got hard at the blue line. Harris. This is Sheehan. Pearson on Sheehan. Dugay gets there. Hickey's in front. The flex is saved. And Resch covers up. Hickey almost bought one. He's had the opportunities tonight. The luck is running against him. Free puck. Johnstone gets it. This is Pearson. McEwen swipes at it, gets it clear. Rangers pick it up in center zone. Right back in by Marois. Saved by Resch. Four minutes and 40 seconds to go. Billy Harris on the right side. Into the Rangers' end. No icing will be called. We're coming up at the four and a half minute mark with Marois throwing the puck ahead. Hart and Duguay. Free puck to Pearson coming across. Center zone. Kaziki, sweep by Hickey. Lewis is deep. Lewis, or Harris rather, out in front. Free puck, Rangers clear. That was Harris, not Lewis. Harris carrying. As it's touched down behind the goal line, four minutes and seven seconds to go in this game. Rangers 2-1. Unofficial shots on goal, 25 for the Rangers, 19 for the Islanders. As Jim told you, there's 4.07 left in this third period with the Rangers leading 2-1 in this to sixth game. If the Rangers win, they go to the finals. If the Islanders win, we have a seventh game in this series. Nystrom's in a slot. Horn is the face-off man. They got Howitt back deep. No clean win of the draw. Behind Potvin. Don Maloney looks ahead, takes a hit from Nystrom. Maloney comes loose and clears. Everything depends upon getting that puck out of the end. Here comes Gresher. Esposito's in front. Good play by Potman. Takes the puck away. Nystrom loses on a poke check. Here comes Don Maloney. A shot. Good save by Resch. Murdoch's angle is up behind the net. Time remaining, 3.40. Nystrom ahead. Rangers there. Badney. And lifts it in. 
Rangers now will do everything they can to keep it across that red line. Certainly out of their end. Here comes Potvin. Nice move. He gets behind Murdoch's check. Potvin is coming in for a shot. It is blocked by Van Day. Back to center zone. Three minutes and 20 seconds to go. Bob Lorimer ahead. Nystrom. Nystrom shot. Broken stick. Goes wide. Offside. Offside. Time remaining 3.15. words with each other. Let's see why. There's Howard putting his hand in Murdoch's face. That's why Murdoch was a trifle upset. Three minutes and 15 seconds left in this third period. There is Don Murdoch. What a series. What hot. If they could bottle this one. I'd like to open it up three or four times a year. Throws and puck in the sideboards. is loose to Pearson. Time remaining, 2.28. Pearson across. Back to center zone. Kaziki's got the puck. Kaziki goes in, holds. Passes to his wing. Shot. Save! Oh, what a stop by Davidson with 2.18 to go. That was an off-speed shot, and Davidson was handcuffed. Krasicki going in the zone. He stopped short. Throws it over to the left side. The off-speed shot and watch Davidson. He is handcuffed. It was doing a dip. It is 2.18 to go now. Play here in the Rangers end. Free puck, Marwa off the backboards. Harris knocks it loose, captured by Greshner. Greshner to Dugay. Dugay gets it clear to Sheehan. Missed in front. Sheehan almost had the break. Two minutes to go. Back into Santa Zone. Island is going with the puck. This is John Tonelli. Tonelli goes in, taken by Greshner. Greshner back up to his own line. Looking for Dugay, he's got it. Dugay goes in with Hickey sneaking in on left wing. Dugay knocked off the puck. Free puck stopped by Resch. Comes back up on right wing. 1.43 to go. Taken away by Kachuk and kept in play. 1.39 on the clock. This is Lorimer. Now the crowd gets to its feet. 1.34 to go. Billy Harris with the puck for the Islanders. Here comes Gillies. Gillies almost must shoot. He can't get the shot away with Badney checking him. Badney behind the goal line with 1.25. And Badney lifts it clear. Bouncing puck. There will be no icing. Pearson is back with 118, and Resch is still in the net. Pearson pass ahead. Here come the Islanders with 113 to go. Trottier sends it in. Off to the right side. Back is Hedberg. Double team. Play in the Ranger corner. 105 to go. Rangers get it loose. Resch tacked it out of the net. Back into center zone. Hedberg fighting for it. 59 seconds to go. The Rangers 58 seconds away. Hedberg at the blue line, gets it in, Vickers, save! 50 seconds to go. Vickers has the puck and puts it in front. Resch can't get out of his net. 46 seconds to go. Islanders have the puck in their own end. 40 seconds to go in the game. The puck is at the red line. This is Trottier trying to find the handle. Nystrom comes in. Bad days on Nystrom, pulls him down, no penalty. Vickers has the puck. It is lifted, clear. Time remaining, 28 seconds. Scramble for the puck in center zone. Picked up by Bossy. He sends it in. Rangers get to it with 20 seconds to go. The Rangers just 19 seconds away. Can't get it clear. 17 seconds on the clock. And this is the most important face-off. There's the empty net. And the most important face-off of this 78-79 season is going to take place now. Here comes the drop. Free puck. Rangers have it. Uh, Dave Maloney gets it. Not clear. 12 seconds to go. Scramble for it. Islanders extra skater. Gillies tries to put it in front. Duque in the sideboards. Can't clear. Five seconds to go. Four seconds. It's in front. Rangers will. Dennis 
hockey league, and now you will see the ceremony of the shaking hands at center ice. They're all over Davidson, Jim. Don't hurt him. incredible. What a series this has been. The Montreal Boston series is not over. They will play their final game tomorrow night. We can now look forward a little bit to what will be happening in the meantime. Stay tuned. We'll be going to the dressing room with Roger Bear and Sal Messina in just a bit. The Rangers will meet the winner of the Montreal Boston semifinal series in the Stanley Cup finals beginning this weekend. Games three and four of the Stanley Cup Finals will be at Madison Square Garden next week. Game three will be on Thursday night, May 17th. The Rangers are reluctant even to get off the ice. I've never seen a happier team. So once again, the Islanders are denied. And look at Davidson. Great moments of New York Ranger jubilation. What do you remember about being involved in all that? Uh, it was so exciting. The place was going wild. And the celebration at the end was, uh, there was a certain collectiveness to it, and yet there were guys jumping all over the place. I can remember Nick Fatio coming off. Nicky had not dressed. And I can remember him leaping over the boards to come off to the ice. You know, oh my God, he's <laughs> going to kill himself. But in the meantime, and the crowd and the whole thing, and, and really at that point, you know, you talk about the Subway Series and New York, and suburbia and the city there was just so much emotion going on it was a blast what did the team do after the game well the headline in the New York Post the next day was uh, Rangers whoop it up at Studio 54 so that's about what we did so you, you <laughs> paint a picture of Studio 54 well, at, at its height uh, it, it was really something I mean the, the thing that uh, what it could do is it then got you to the front of the line basically otherwise you might have had to wait in line so beating the Islanders not that I was a patron there often right so I, I mean, right. my partners told me that but <laughs> I mean, it was a lot of fun so the Rangers danced the night Away. But before they went to Studio 54, an unbelievable post-game interview involving your brother, a very happy bunch, as you'll see, interviewed by Rod Gilbert and Sal Redlight Messina. After this, on the Bulls. A very happy dressing room. The big guy, John Davidson. John, very tasty. John, very tasty. Oh, jeez. I'm drinking orange soda tonight with this championship. Now we have to go to Montreal. I hope I can get him some of that champagne stuff. I feel like a big old bear that's almost dead. Montreal or Boston, that is. I'm sorry. It uh, doesn't matter to me, but we're there. These guys, I'm telling you, that's the easiest third period I had all year. The guys did a number. They just fantastic. Last shot by Tonelli. Sort of fooled you. It was like the, it was like uh, It was a changeup again. I never could hit one in baseball, and I'm having a lot of trouble in the hockey season. <laughs> I, I usually late in the fall, I start hitting them, but uh, that's too late for hockey. Uh, the boys were there. Congratulations, super, oh, super. Thank you. Thank you. Roddy, how about with Phil? Phil, you 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 got those young legs all over again, <laughs> aren't you? How does this compare to uh, to the Boston series? You know, Rod. I, I mean, we won the Stanley Cup in Boston. We haven't won the Stanley Cup yet, but we're on our way. But this is far more exciting for me. Because it, it's, it's just, it seems that this team wasn't expected to, to do anything. And in Boston, we were expected to win. And I'm, I'm so excited in this one that it's ridiculous. Oh, no! <laughs> you did it, I have never gone this far in my life. And uh, it's been a team effort. Mr. Nicklock, Coach Shiro has been behind us. And to be a part of the line, like Phil was saying, with Donnie and Phil is just excellent. We're working hard, and I think we deserve to be where we are. And uh, I don't know who's going to be there ahead of us, but watch out, because here we come. How about the last 10 minutes? Oh, I'll tell you, that was the longest 10 minutes. There is 17 <laughs> seconds left, and Steve Vickers and I were on, our, were on our hands and knees going, oh, God, please, I will never do another bad thing in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong! <laughs> Donnie, the guy in the corners, you've been great. Oh, thanks very much, Sal. I tell you, there's only one team in New York, and that's the Rangers. That's all I have all to right. say. Yeah. 
Danny, for, for a kid of 20 years old, you've shown more boys out there. It's, it's just incredible. But uh, with playing with veterans like Phil and, and players like uh, you must feel awfully good. Oh, Christ, there's nothing. I mean... Well, watch your mouth! <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I came up, I mean, anybody could have success playing with guys like this. They give a person so much confidence, you know, and uh, I'm just so happy to be I can't believe it. I'm just so happy to be here. All right, Christ. Oh, no, I can't! <laughs> Good luck, good luck in the finals. Either Montreal, who do you have, who do you prefer, Phil? Well, <laughs> I would, you want to get back at Boston, right? I, I would, I'd like to play in Boston, except that I think it would cost me so much for tickets that maybe it's better to go to Montreal. <laughs> <laughs> we'd like, we'd like to uh, bring in Mr. Werblin, one of the most responsible one in here. Good on. Sonny, you're the architect of this team, and they all play so hard for you. No, no, I'm not. Fred Shiro. And Mickey and Mike are really are the architects of the team, but I did have one feeling. I've said it all along that we we're going to go all the way. Sometimes people didn't believe me, but I know that we are. And God bless you, fellas. Keep doing it. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Take the book. They are back to Sauer. Just a minute. John Davidson. Extra special. 13 consecutive games. You didn't get injured after a great streak. Did you know we played in the island the other night and we, Anders Hedberg scored the goal with 2.13 left. We uh, we win the, the semifinals in 13 games. From Mr. Werblin down, it's been absolutely wonderful and I hope we go seven. All right, we have to say good night from the Ranger dressing room. That interview in the Players' Lounge is about as wacky as it gets. To think that that's been lost and now found after all these years, well, we're pretty lucky. Then the Rangers went on to the Stanley Cup Finals and took on the Montreal Canadiens. We didn't record those games either, but that's another story for another edition of The Vault. I'm Al Troutwick. Thanks for joining us. I've got to go see what's on this tape because you never know.